business in the last year is a more and more, let's say, content loading approach to the Bologna uh, process in a sense that issues like democratic values, um, autonomy of science, autonomy of also freedom of speech and so on, so on, have more or less entered into the Bologna process. This approach to say it's only, let's say, a technical qualification machine providing uh, the economic sector with skills. We're beyond that, I think. We have the Bologna process as a really good, let's say, a kind of shape or a kind of tool which we can use and we can put all the content in that we want. What we see today is the Bologna process has moved away from the 10 action lines. Um, it also doesn't try to add new action lines. We see much more that it becomes about um, a collaborative process, involves a lot of peer learning, which includes not only the ministries, but also increasingly higher education and QA agencies. And maybe this is something that we should uh, consider. The most important difference to earlier reform movements is that the international dimension has moved from backstage to center stage. This addresses exactly the question, well, how should European universities position themselves globally in their local manifestations? What we have been asking, what the sector has been asking to us is how the European education realm, because we have some tools that we don't have through Bologna, can accelerate the implementation of the Bologna principles and the Bologna instruments. And it's exactly what we are trying to do with some of the flagships of this European strategy for universities when it comes to the European Justice Initiative.